Geeks TV. This is Two Geeks TV. You are watching Two Geeks TV. Hi, gang. Mean Gene Okerlin from World Wrestling Entertainment, WWE. And you're watching Two Geeks TV. It's all over the place. YouTube, it's on your computer. You'll even find it in the shoebox in the closet. Hey, I'm Trish Stratus, and this is Two Geeks TV. Keep watching, because Stratus Faction is guaranteed. Oh! That's pretty good hoeing, fellas. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, this is Sean, and that's my partner, Victor, and you're watching Two Geeks TV. Vic, who have we got with us today? We have the undeniable, the greatest Canadian boxing champion ever, Mr. George Chuvalo. I'm a huge fan, a huge idol of Mr. Chuvalo. I've been watching him for years. My father introduced me to Mr. Chuvalo fighting Muhammad Ali. Mr. Chuvalo was invited to fight Muhammad Ali back at, I think, I believe it was Madison Square Garden? Maple Leaf Gardens. Maple Leaf Gardens. Sorry, I get them all mixed up. And he had, I think, about seven days or something like that to prepare, or is it 17? Uh, 17 days uh, notice. 17 days notice. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe against Muhammad Ali for 15 rounds. Not once was he knocked down. Mr. Juvalo, in his entire career for 92 or 93 fights, not once has he ever been knocked down. I know what I should say. <laughs> I, I kissed a few girls, but I never kissed a canvas. <laughs> so... <laughs> Mr. Chuvalo, just to know, as far as when you were notified of going up against Mr. Ali for the first time, what was that like for you? It was no different than any other big fight, you know what I mean? It's like the same, the same kind of uh, anticipation, same kind of, I knew it was going to be a tough fight, uh, and I think he knew it was going to be a tough fight, and it was a tough fight, it was 15 rounds, and 15 rounds a long time. Uh, to be in the ring, uh, 15 times 3, 45 minutes, plus 14 in between rounds. So 59 minutes, start to finish. That's a long time, tough time, especially when you're fighting a, a guy of, of that stature, who's tough to tough to nail with a good punch anyway. He moves so doggone much, hard to trap him. But once I trapped him, I, I, I did okay, but he, he's pretty tough to trap. Uh there was a moment where you were trying to instigate Mr. Ali when uh, one of my favorite videos that I've seen online is uh, when you dressed up in a dress and tried to instigate him with a contract. Well, that was uh, when he pulled out of a fight with me way back in 19, 1963, I think I was. He was supposed to fight, uh, was supposed to fight in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, but he pulled out of the fight when I fought a guy called Mike DeJohn. I knocked him out twice in a fight to win a 10 round split decision. You can figure that one out, it's pretty tough. I knocked him out twice. I knocked him out in the second round, and they gave him a five minute rest and said I fouled him. I didn't foul him at all. I knocked him out fair and square, and they gave him a five minute rest. The fight resumed, I knocked him out again in the, in the uh, sixth round. Knocked him right through the ropes, onto the, right through the ropes, onto the uh, uh, sports writer's table, and, and knocked him out of the ring, for, and he was out for quite a while. They dragged him back. In, uh, they gave him another rest. Anyway, he went to the limit, but I still won. But uh, I had a tough time winning it because the odds were against me. That we were that kind of a setup. Every time I make a move, they would take points away from me and, and try to uh, try to steal the fight, so to speak. But but they didn't. I still won the fight. There was one moment where you were, uh, I believe, it, the story is that you were trained for, publi for publicity reasons by Rocky Marciano, which also commented that you were the one person that couldn't be knocked down. And you also had another uh, celebrity boxer also mention that about you. What, what, what was the whole um, feeling behind all these legends saying that about well, they were just uh, ask the press would ask them for comments and eventually they all usually would surface, surface around my ability to take a punch because there's not too many guys that are walking around who had almost 100 fights and never been knocked down that, that, that I don't know of anybody else who has had that many fights and has hasn't been knocked down so so then they kind of gave me a reputation of being a kind of a I guess a, a hard head. <laughs> so uh, there was w the second time you went up against Muhammad Ali. He stated that he his only goal at the time was to knock you down. Yeah. 
How did it feel to hear that and did that motivate you to actually try harder not to? <laughs> well, actually, it didn't motivate me much at all because I don't think he could ever knock me down, no matter what. He's just not that hard a puncher anyway. I mean, a lot of people might be surprised to hear that, but he's not a real big puncher. I mean, it take a volume of punches a lot of times for him to knock guys down. But uh, I know with me, uh, I didn't have any uh, any qualms about him talking about that, that he was going to knock me out and do all that stuff because I know he couldn't do it. I just knew he couldn't do it. Well, unfortunately, we have to cut it short here. We got to go. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much, sir. It was a great pleasure. This is Mr. George Chuvalo. We'll be posting links to his websites, to everything that he's following. Fight Against Drugs, please follow that as well. This is Mr. George Chuvalo. Thank you.